Who wants to go first? Yeah. Uh, Richard, what's, what's been like with all the scrutiny, Coach Smart? Obviously, you played the position you played in college. He talks about you quite a bit. Right. Um, it's been a, definitely a learning experience, uh, something that I every day look forward to, uh, to getting hard coaching and uh, coming in here, developing my mind and my body. And, um, you know, just hearing feedback from Coach Smart, you know, positive or negative, it's always, you know, something I can, I can learn from. You know, uh, I can't sit there and be, you know, mad about or nothing like that. I really haven't heard, you know, much. I haven't read much or nothing like that. But from what I did see or whatnot, it's just, it's coaching. You know, uh, I, I'd probably be mad if he wasn't coaching me, you know, hard and stuff like that. So it's, it's just, you know, it's a learning experience. I love it. Every day I come in here, hard work, you know, me and the team. Uh, the team comes in here down or something like that. I try to pick them up at the same time and all us, you know, get together and ride. Do, do you view his comments about your um, progress um, publicly to the media as kind of like tough love? Uh? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, tough love or not, you know, it's coaching. It's something that I, I have to be open to. And um, my teammates certainly, you know, all of us get that same type of love. Uh, from Coach Smart, and that's something you know that you got a lot of you know that it, it it's something that's gonna happen, you know. <laughs> that's something you hear about at, at class. Some people ask you about, man, Richard, what's he talking about? Do you ever get that a lot from uh, oh yeah, from folks? definitely. You know, uh, a lot of my uh, peers and things like that ask me questions about it. You know, every day we just come in here working. Mm -hmm. uh, all I can do is just set my face, you know, toward the big deal. You know, being disciplined, staying in where I need to be, and just keeping it moving. Is you there, view yourself as kind of a risk taker a little bit back uh, there. Uh, as it seems to be the the intimation he's making. Risk taker? No. Uh, <laughs> I I see myself gambling at times. You know, um, that that right there is just something that I have to you know you know work on, and that's all all the part of the learning process. It's something that I can. You know, focus on every day, slowing my pace down and practice, slowing, get my mind, getting mental reps, standing on the sideline, watching others go. Uh, that's something that just, you know, keep me going and just every day just, you know, finding one thing that I can work on to help, you know, the team in the, the big picture. It seems like at this level, a coach is going to publicly criticize players unless that player is definitely right. in their plans, that they're trying to say something. Is, is that kind of, did people tell you that? Uh, I definitely heard that. Um, you know, just hearing hearing his feedback is just something I, I have to take, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I love it. I love hearing feedback from him. If, you know, I couldn't take it, uh, I wouldn't be here. You know, everybody at this level, it's a, it's a job, you know. Me doing my job is just something that the team needs to, you know, in the, at the end result, make a big picture. And I'm just a small piece of this big puzzle, you know, and Coach Smart focusing, you know, taking the time out for me that I feel like that's a, you know, that's a sign of showing that he really, you know, cares that. Did Kirby or Mel or anybody like pull you aside and say, hey, this is why, you know, we, we see you as a key guy. That's why we're taking the time to coach you up, whether it's behind the scenes or publicly. I mean, you know, that I think that's what, you know, everybody on the team, you know, uh, just hearing hearing feedback is something that you're going to get. And uh, I hear that from, you know, everyone, my, even my teammates, you know. All, all of us is standing together, is correcting each other because that we, we only could get better you know, because maybe, maybe I won't listen to the coach. Maybe I listen to my teammates more. You know, it's just something like that. But all of that is just helping the team get better. How prepared were you for that coming out of high school? Because in high school, about telling you how good you are and how good you're going to be. And once you get here, all that's over. And coach was like you're saying, the same when they start getting on it. To, oh, yeah. To, uh, um, like, like how you said, um, you know, it was just a part of a process, you know, that I've been going through since I was basically in the ninth grade. Yeah. So uh, it, it wasn't really a, a shock or nothing like that to me coming here and getting hard coaching because it's something I was used to back at home, you know, but it's just certain things that I need to tweak and, uh, you know, get, get into it so we get in the, uh, the right mode of football. Who used to get on you back at home, back playing at Liberty County? Who, uh, who, who, who was Roger? Uh, definitely Coach Seals, my uh, defensive coordinator. Yeah. Great guy. You guys uh, a couple men down uh, right now in the secondary. It sounds like we heard about Tyreek today and uh, I guess Mark Webb's been uh, battling something a little bit. What's it? What's that? Uh, Looking like back there, the mixing and matching. And oh, I, I really haven't heard about you know the, the injury report. I, I think coach is coming tomorrow to talk about that. But as far as that, you know, there's a lot of guys you know sh shifting in the the secondary, moving. You know that that's how you get better. Everybody knowing the spots just in case during the season something do happen. You know, everybody is prepared to play one. Uh, you know, play different positions. Everybody's just not one one dimensional type of uh, players back there in that D. You got a little bit of a piece of. Playing time last year, early in the season, late in the season. Right. Um, 
how excited are you to kind of you know be in a situation right now where you can kind of be the guy where you can play you know 50, 60, 70 snaps a game like you are used to doing for a long time? Right. Um, you know, just getting that taste of last year was just something that I can you know build upon because I, I have high expectations for also my team and also myself. So um, getting those early snaps in is just like wow. This is what really the game is like, you know. This is how serious and this is how fast the game is, and, and uh, I think Coach will put me in there then, throw me in that fire early, let me know that this is everything that I need to do to go through it. And uh, you know, now 67 plays won't be, you know, as mentally or physically it's tough on my body or my mind because I know, you know, what they expect now. Coach talks about that he wants it to be a process for you. How hard is it to follow the process and? still be the type of playmaker that, that, that you like to be? Uh, I don't see it hard at all. I see it as, a, you know, like you said, a process is, you know, everything starts from a foundation. You know, everything starts from the bottom up. You know, just making sure that I do what I need to do and go smart, taking the time out, making sure I don't skip any of them steps in that process. You know, uh, because to get to the top, you got to go through the bottom. You got to start from that bottom. And I, I still see myself as a, you know, a work in progress, just like I hope everybody else uh, on a team does, you know, because it's always somewhere that we can get better. And I think, you know, just building, building is something I can, you know, keep working on and, and learning. Do you learn from the, or take stock from, from what happened in the, the second and 26, the breakdown there? Is that something that's real easy to happen to a safety to get looked off if you don't follow your... Oh, yeah, so. definitely. Um, you you play your position on what you got to do, you know. Uh, you carry your weight on the team, you know, just like how you guys have, a, you know, weight to carry in the, in the workforce, you know, is something that you have to go through. And if you don't, you know, in like the real world, you're going to get fired and here you're going to get beat, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, so that's just really like something I, you know, got to focus on so I can make sure I keep my job. <laughs> Richard, does the playing time you got last year, you know, serve as a confidence booster for you now? Like, so you're getting feedback from Coach Smart, you know, can you look back at those times last year and say, yeah, there is something you see. Yes, sir. Uh, definitely. Uh, I see that early playing time is something that that's something I really, you know, I appreciate now uh, coming into my second year uh, because it's just not like I'm, I'm being thrown in the fire, you know, like it. Uh, practice scrimmages is way different than playing in front of 93,000 people. So uh, I see that as being in Notre Dame playing, being on the road playing, and, uh, you know, that I think that I take that as a real good, you know, Fit for my learning. Um, Jason Stanley has a reputation for like once he gets his hands on you, 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 you can't get away as a, as a downfield blocker. Have you have you seen evidence of that? Have you been oh yeah, Jason, victim of that? No, nah, Jason is definitely a, a great downfield receiver, a receiver and downfield blocker. You know, just like everybody in that receiving room, if they get their hands on you downfield, it, it's you know it's kind of it's very hard to get off. You know, they, those guys got big strong hands. You know, and those wide, that wide receiver core is amazing. How, how do you think your approach was uh, from like January to March versus from May to August? Did you did you change anything up with with your uh, you know De what you needed to do? Um, definitely, I did. You know, uh, this is for my you know my mental state, eating eating habits uh, changed differently. Started eating more, you know, getting uh, you know lifting more weight, getting trying to get bulked up, but, you know, for the season things like that. And I definitely changed as far as my mental and approaching approaching the game. You know. Uh, as before, I just always focused on myself and that w what can this safety do? What do this safety have to do other than just sitting there learning, you know, learning the whole defense as a whole just in case I needed to be there or something like that. So that really, that really, did, you know, made a big difference in what I do. Richard, where would you, where would you rank on the speed chart here? Who, who, who's speed? Fat, yeah, who's faster than you on this football team? Oh, man, these guys blazing. Uh, I never, who are some guys? Who are some I know it was like no 10, no 10, 5, 10, 3 type of guy, you know. I, I think I got football speed, but it, it's a bunch of guys on this team, you know, that's flying like that. Um, going back to, to, to earlier about uh, Coach Smart kind of coaching you up, I mean, he's talked about your uh, uh, emotion and stuff and having home and in. I mean, I know that you're the type of guy that's always got the energy and always trying to keep people up. But right. How have you worked to, to bring that back in to how he wants it? That's a great question, man. Uh, I, I see that as – you know, me focusing on that, on what I need to do, and me being criticized or whatnot, not not 
messing up my attitude towards the game, you know, not being down on myself, not forgetting or busting the next play or something like that. I see it as positive criticism, and I just take it, you know, with a grain of salt and keep it moving.